Hi everyone and welcome to the Collider Frames tutorial. Today I'll be using Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 and I'll show you how to take a Collider Frame, resize it and place a photograph behind it. So I have the program open and I have my page set at 8.5 by 11. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my frame, so I'm going to click and hold and drag and drop it onto the page. And this Collider Frame is from Volume 2 and it's a pretty pine cones in snow and they come sized at 6 inches and 300 dpi so it does give you some leverage to resize so what I'd like to do is take this one and resize it to 5 by 7 to do that I'm going to go down to this menu click on transform and under the boxes that say W and H this is where I'll make my changes so under W which is width I'm going to highlight and type 7 then I'll click on height highlight, type 5, click the enter key on my keyboard and now my frame has been resized to 5 by 7. So I'll just place this up here a little bit. The next step is to take the photograph, so I'm going to click and hold and drag and drop it onto my frame. Now what I need to do is place the photograph behind the frame and then I'm going to resize it. So again we'll go back down to this menu box, I'll click on arrange the very first icon is back one. Click on that and that moves the image behind the frame. To resize the image I'm going to go to the corner, going to click and hold and drag the image and I'm going to resize it into the frame. So now that I've resized it you can see that it exceeds the dimensions of the frame so I need to crop the photograph so that it fits in there correctly. So I'm going to click on the photo and then I'm going to click on the cropping tool on the top menu bar here. Then I'm going to go to the left hand side and click on that center box. When I click and hold and push in with my mouse and I'm probably just going to go in about a quarter of an inch to the edge of the frame and release. Do the exact same thing on the bottom and now I have cropped the photo inside the frame. So I could just click anywhere on the page and that deselects both the items. So let's just zoom in and take a closer look at the edges so this way you can see exactly what it looks like. So if you look at the photograph or the inside of the, the frame here, the photograph or the frame's edges give the photograph the illusion that they've all been blended in. So it's got a nice, smooth, transparent effect. And when you crop your photograph, you have to make sure that you give yourself enough room so that you can see that effect. For example, if I click on the photograph and drag it down to below the edge of the inside frame, when I release, you can see a definite edge to that photograph. So th we don't want that. So just make sure that when you click on your photograph or crop your photograph, that you leave enough of a margin. For example, like you can see in this blue line. I'm just going to position that in there. So this concludes the video tutorial on the Collider Frames. I hope you've enjoyed this and that it inspires you to make your own projects using the Collider Frames.